enjoy doing the more magical, mythical elements of the show? Is that quite fun? Um, it was really exciting uh, in series three to do the yeah. flame sword and that whole bit with Beric Dondarrion. Yeah. Um, that was really interesting because that doesn't really happen much in Arya's storyline. I mean, they've got the dragons and everything in, mm. in other storylines, but there, there's not much of that. So it was um, exciting to see how it was done on set as well. We yeah. actually had a flaming sword. It wasn't oh, wow. CG. Like it was, you know, so it was scary and it was dangerous. I mean, it's a health and safety nightmare. Exactly, I can't yeah. I, you know, I was talking to the guys and they were saying like when they were wielding the sword in front of them, like it was literally sucking the oxygen away. So it just makes it 10 times harder and but the fact that that's actually happening there in front of you makes it just you know so much more interesting to be on set every day and that's what I love about this show is that they make it as real for you as possible in this fantasy world like there is you know minimum CGI the stuff that they do in um in Iceland like that's legit like those scenes are real. She tells Beric Dondarrion in uh, in the cave of the Brotherhood Without Banners that death is the one true god. Mm -hmm. Do you think Arya is afraid of death at all? I think she's kind of thrilled by death but um, uh, it's <laughs> not something that she wants to really encounter. Yeah. But she's not afraid of it either. Um, I feel, uh, as we were saying, like she's not got um, a direction anymore. I don't think she's like trying to do anything. She's just kind of letting this world take her where she goes. Death is an option, I guess. Like you know, that could happen. But I think she's a lot stronger now. We see series one this very naive Arya, and. Um, you know, I think now all the killing that she has witnessed and, and horrible people that she's witnessed, I think she realises that everyone's got a story. And um, just because you may think they're innocent doesn't necessarily mean they are. Yeah. I think she, <laughs> this is going to sound so, respects death almost. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not an ending either as well. It's like... It's, you know, just a path, I yeah. guess. That sounds so and she sort of learned that from Syria, I suppose. And yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And so many people speculating that Syria is still alive or Syria is dead and stuff. I think his view on it was, like, kind of heartwarming almost. And um, even if he is dead, I think, you know, it was an honourable way, way to die. Saving her. Exactly. Oh, I hope he's alive. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> that would Saving be nice. Her. I said it in an interview once. I was like, I think Syria is still alive. And that was it. On the internet, everyone oh, was like, oh, no. my God, spoiler. I was like, no, I said, I think, like... <laughs> I don't know. No one tells me anything. Well, finger, fingers crossed for Syria. Yeah. Do you think that uh, Arya could rise to become the queen of Westeros, like a warrior queen? Uh -huh. I, I got asked this once, and I was saying, like, Arya's just trying to get home. Like, yeah. that's all she was trying to do. So, I mean, I think she'd be a great ruler, but I think she'd be an even better hand to the right king. But that's not at all what she's worried about. I think, you know, that's not on her priorities at all. And. If it is on someone's priority, I don't think they're fighting for the right reasons, really. Um, she's fighting for the good and the bad, rather than like the selfishness of, I want the throne sort of thing. I think in that whole um, mix of people fighting for the Iron Throne, like they're all killing each other anyway, so she's kind of just sat back watching it like... <laughs> It's so refreshing. Flying fools. Yeah, because she doesn't want it. Unlike, you know, Marjorie, who was like, I want to be the queen. Yeah, exactly. So many people wanting a throne. And, mm -hmm. and I think Ira's kind of like, for a female character, like she's kind of admirable in a different sense to the other female characters in that she doesn't wear the gorgeous clothes mm -hmm. and she, she's still a likeable character. And she yeah. doesn't have this, you know, feminine appearance for her to you know, be this strong character, mm -hmm. and I really like that about her. I'm glad that the reception's been so good for the choices that she makes. Yeah, thank you very much. Maisie Williams, That's okay. Arya Stark. Thank you, guys.